Check, check. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Jones the Great, a.k.a. your mama's favorite, a.k.a. Julius Jones. Generation Genius Round, episode 26. Can't wait. Hold up. Let me just catch this beat. I just want to I just want to talk for a little bit. Yeah. Shout out to all the girls out there that are real cute, but though don't use the lotion. Also, quick shout out to all the aunties out there because, man... If you're 45 and over, I love y'all. Neil Long, Holly Berry, Lisa Ann, the mom from Half and Half, the mom from Sister Sister, Tisha Campbell, Regina King. Oh, yeah, I love y'all. For real. But, like, I love y'all for real. Like, the reason that I love aunties is because um, aunties are forever aunties. In the 90s, they were auntie. When they were taken over in the 99 with cash money, they were aunties. And the reason I love aunties so much is that, hold up. Mm. The reason that I love these aunties so much is that aunties do what these young women can't do for you. Auntie will cook for you. Auntie will make your bed for you. Auntie will do your laundry. You go out, you come back from work, their laundry's already done. And she's not using no cheap, cheap detergent. She's using that, um, she using that OxyClean. She paid $4.99 for it. This ain't that cheap Dollar General stuff, family. Another reason I love these aunties is because they don't play around. They'll love you, but they'll also discipline you. They'll be like, Baby, before you can get a kiss, just make sure you got that couch cleaned up for me before I get back. And that's man. Another reason that... Mm, another reason I love these aunties is because... Mm, sorry, just I just got a lot of my heart. Another reason I love these aunties is because they're just so fine. Like, there's fine, fine, but then there's fine, fine, fine. There's, there's She's fine as wine, but then... She's fine as old wine. You got your Patron Hennessy type of woman, but then you got your woman that only sip on the good Moscato. Not the nasty barefoot Moscato. That gets the job done, but you got aunties out here that only sip the finest. She only wear a cashmere. Type of auntie that's still driving the same car from 96. Not a, not a newer Honda Civic, but an older Honda Civic. It's 2000. It's a 2000 Honda Civic EX, but it got 300,000 miles on it, but she can't let it go. And now she letting you drive it, but you scared to drive it because the ghost of her ex-husband is in there. Yeah, I said it. You can't drive your new woman's car because the ghost of her ex-husband is in there. You dating an auntie, so you know. Percy used to drive it. But Percy been gone since about 80, since about 99 when he bought the car, so you know. Yeah. Wow. Thought I'd just say that. Anyway, thank y'all so much. I'm thank y'all for letting me be stupid. This is your boy Jones the Great. Welcome back to Generation Genius. Thank you guys for letting me do that dumbass intro. LOL. Yo, I got a couple segments. We're gonna start doing this show in segments. I'm gonna start giving you guys segments. Actually, you know what? Forget that. However, I feel we are going to do the show in that way. But yeah, I would just like to get started by saying thank you guys for listening. If you've been listening so far, this is episode 26, maybe 27. I do not know. But yeah. Let's just dive more into aunties because, shoot, I feel like, hey, listen, man, this is my show. We're going to talk about it. I was watching, um, I was watching like a 90s, I was watching like a 90s sitcom, watching Living Single. And every single woman on Living Single was fine as hell, bruh. Fine as hell. All of them. Tootie from, uh, Tootie, y'all know the show, Facts of Life, fine. Queen Latifah, fine. Every single woman on there was fine. Different world. Respectfully, I say this respectfully. Jada Pinkett Smith, fine. Light skinned Charlie, I, I know her name. It's gonna come back to me. But y'all know who I'm talking about. She's fine. Just all just beautiful, natural, beautiful, just beautiful, beautiful, natural, fine aunties. And don't no disrespect. But when I say auntie, I'm not talking about 20 out 20, 20 and below. I'm talking like 35 and up. Like your credit score, like at least a 620. You know what I'm saying? You 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 don't even like driving regular cars. You like driving Cadillacs, GNC, all that. Yeah. You used to drive a Ford Explorer in the early days because you were bad. I'm talking about 
aunties. I love me. I like a woman that was born in like pff, 62, so she was 20 in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? That's my type of, let me stop. I, I play too much. But yeah, I was just thinking that like, whew, black woman, man, fine. There was that show with LL Cool J. Um, a lot of Reese was on there. A lot of Reese from Saved by the Bell. Man, and then there was the other John on there too. She, man, auntie, like, and don't get me wrong, young, you know, there's some beautiful, there's some beautiful younger, young black women around my age out there too, but they probably can't cook the same. All right, I'm gonna stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Shout out to my beautiful black queens. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. I do most respect for y'all. Ugh, natural. If you team natural, I love it. That's another thing, bro. I promise you, this is like some of the best advice I can give to ladies. I'm not a woman expert at all. I actually have I actually have no type of game at all. I'm actually super corny, but I feel like my best advice for you ladies out there listening to this, the best advice is, hey man, you know what, man and woman, I got I got advice for both of y'all. If you want to date somebody, bro, just make sure number one, you're not ashy. Not being ashy can go a long way. All right, let's just start there. Like, listen, man, you know what I'm saying? You may think you're a fly dude. You may think you're super fly. You go up to the finest girl you can. Hey, show how you doing? My name is, you know what I'm saying? What's up? How you doing? You go up to her, then she just tells you like a hood chick. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Your lips is dry. Like, goodbye. Goodbye. Like, your lips your lips are dry. Goodbye. And you're like, damn, why you why you throwing me? My, my lips aren't even that dry. Um, are, do you drink water? Because, like, ew. You know what I'm saying? You don't want that to happen, bro. Just chapstick. You know what I'm saying? Both. Both parties. Women and men. Both parties, though. Chapstick is really... Chapstick can go a long way, bro. It's cold out here. You know what I'm saying? If At least if you're not hydrating your body, you can most definitely get some chapstick on there. You know what I mean? Get some chapstick. Get that popping. Yeah. Whew. But, um, yeah, so I just thought I would just like to go over a couple things with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Go over a couple things. Things that have been on my brain, you know? Um... New Year still basically, you know what I'm saying? I just worked out my new strategy, my old my new content strategy for the year. You know what I'm saying? Still Auntie Fridays. We're dropping new music every single Friday. Um, you're gonna be getting some more short films, some more sketches from me, you know what I'm saying? I feel like people only see more so the dancing and the music. Um, and kind of more you don't really see the other things I get to work on, but I feel like I'm not limiting myself this year at all, you know what I'm saying, I'm going for everything I want to go for, and people don't like it, I'm sorry, it's okay, you don't have to, but don't limit yourself, please don't limit yourself, yo, that's the, that's the biggest lesson I'm learning myself too, for a long, for a lot, like a, for a long time, I was limiting myself, and I, 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 I blah, 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 blah. the reason I was limiting myself, because I felt that I had to focus on one thing, but the dangerous thing about you solely focusing on one thing in one tunnel is if you, everybody's great at more than one thing. You can be really, really good at one thing, but I disagree with that too because you can be really, really good at multiple things. Don't limit yourself because I feel like niche is dead, bro. Niche is so dead. That is such, niche is a, it's, it's an important word, but it's not because, bro, so everybody tells you, yo, bro, stick to your niche, stick to your niche, stick to your niche. There are so many multi-talented people we have on the face of earth, bro, right in front of us. You have people like Childish Gambino. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> you have people like Childish Gambino who writes, can write an award-winning show, can win a Grammy for a song, perform at the Grammys, write for a TV show, write, produce, direct, do all of this, write a short film, all within the same amount of years, bro. And you're just like, bro, like, excuse me, let me turn my phone down. Oh, snap. Okay. Just got that hit. Just got that hit. We close tomorrow, boy. Woo, we're going to be to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I'm right, sorry. I just got that text. I don't have to go to work tomorrow. Yeah, I still work a regular job because I'm hustling until we are 100% completely and fully indulged into everything that I want to do. But anyway, listen. So, yeah. Childish Gambino, great example. Leonardo da Vinci, another great example. This man was an inventor. This man was painting. He was like, I don't know too much about Leonardo da Vinci, but I just go by what I know. Um, he was doing way more than one thing. Then you have people, you have people like, uh, let's think, let's keep going. Beyonce. Oh my gosh. She's not in so many movies right now, but Beyonce can act. Not only make music, but Beyonce can also act. You know what I'm saying? You have 
people like Rihanna who is going with doing things with Fenty. You know what I'm saying? Rihanna's not just a musician. You see like, oh, snap, like, wow, she can really design. You know what I'm saying? And people can say like, yeah, she has a team behind her, blah, 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 blah. But nah, there's still a certain amount of energy put into, into, there's still a certain amount of energy and tools put into Fenty as a business. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just like, Oh no, Rihanna's um Rihanna has other people. It's like no 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 nah, bro. You can see the amount of work she puts in because being a celebrity does not always mean things are gonna be successful, bro. There are plenty of celebrities with clothing brands. There are plenty of super at the top celebrities with clothing brands that don't hit. You know what I mean? Because I feel like even when you reach that level of success, you still have to work. So I say I to go back, like you have people like like I said, Rihanna, who is multi talented, Charles Gambino, you had back in the day Leonardo da Vinci. You had Diddy, who was doing multiple, multiple things, and actually, people actually grew within. You had people like Tupac. Tupac's a perfect example of people that you should not worry about your niche, because Tupac, bro, Tupac can act his butt off, bro. Tupac was playing in, arguably, he, not even, it's not even arguably, at least for the black community. You had Tupac playing in these amazing movies. You had Juice, Poetic Justice. You know what I mean? You, you had those classic black movies. At the same time, you were still giving us classic music and classic albums. So, it's very important not to limit yourself just to one thing if you feel like you could do more. And if it's trash, so be it. But if it's not, and you feel like, yo, I can do this with Chris Brown. Come on, bro. Chris Brown could dance. Like, bro, Chris Brown could... If Chris Brown solely only danced, we wouldn't get the music. And if... You know what I mean? Like, he is an amazing dancer, but he's also an amazing, amazing singer, amazing songwriter. So, I feel like... It's very, very dangerous to just be like, okay, forget that. J-Lo, too. I could keep going with examples all day. They're, they're hitting me as I talk along, but it's like, you have to know, you have to tap into your fullest potential, and part of tapping into your fullest potential is experimenting and throwing things at a wall and seeing not only what sticks, but what you feel happy about. And I was watching a Russ interview. If you guys know who Russ is, check him out. Russ, you guys know the musician Russ, I hope. He said... Something that was really struck me, it was um detached from your results. Because if you're doing something and worried about the views and worried about the money and everything else, you're you're attaching yourself to that. You're gonna not only cre- not be at your fullest potential, you're not gonna create the things that can elevate you to where you need to be because you're so worried about the results, so you quit and you burn out. It's like, bro, what if you got back in the studio and the next song you made was fire? What if the movie you're trying to write ends up becoming a award winning movie? What if you write a short film like a change of the game? What if you're building something or inventing something and after the 300th invention, you stop? Yo, then we, we lost another great inventor. So I feel like you have to yeah, detach from your results and also know that you don't have to limit yourself to just one thing. I feel like with power and control and God, you let me put God first. With God, power, and control, you can literally do anything you want to do. So get on that. Do your thing, bro. Do your thing. Like, we have some... There's there's awesome comedians that are... Like, you have all these, like, YouTuber and IG comedians, you know what I'm saying, that are multi-talented with a bunch of different things, and they don't ever just go off into just one direction. Because when you do off... When you go off in one direction, it can daunt not only your results, but your spirit, too. Like, yo, I've reached success in this, but I'm ready to do something else. And what the fun thing about not having a niche and going off into one thing, if you feel like you've plateaued with one thing, you always have room to do something else. The best thing, I think, to be in the world is a beginner. That is the greatest thing ever, bro. The best thing you can be is a beginner because you're learning again. You're at the bottom. It's because, yes, you can always keep learning, but when you're excelling, I think it's always important to go back to the roots and go back to the beginning of why you're so passionate about what you were doing anyway. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for listening. I'm going to leave it there. You know what I mean? I want to have more interviews so I can talk to you guys for longer. And I'm going to just keep getting these podcasts popping. I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in to Generation Genius. Even if it's only five of you or 20 of you or 30 of you. Because it's going to get a million anyway. We're going to get the, the big, you know what I'm saying? We're going we're gonna to make it up anyway. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. So thank you guys so much for listening. It's been your boy Jones the Great. I'll see you guys later.